So I want to talk about bike pedals, folding bike pedals, right? Uh, pedals that I've used on my folding bike. And so platform style. So this is avoiding the SPD stuff, you know, clipless pedals. And so there, there's a, a few different styles. I'll talk about the pros and the cons of, of each one, you know, to the best of my knowledge. And obviously I don't know everything, but I know, I know a little bit about, you know, bikes actually. Uh, so first and foremost, folding pedals. So what's the deal with folding pedals? I mean, folding pedals come in two styles. They, they come in the plastic style, a resin, I guess, is what it's called, and aluminum. And that's it. <laughs> I've never seen anything else, right? I mean, I, I guess I have seen a mix of the two. Um, you know, they use both resin as well as aluminum, but that's strange and that's not very common. Usually it's either one or the other. And it, it turns out these uh, aluminum ones are really nice. So let's focus on that first. So the aluminum ones are, are, are smooth. Uh, you'll get a better grip. You know, your foot's going to be much less, like, less likely to slip off, you know, which is dangerous, actually, because, you know, in certain scenarios, you can lose control of the bike if, if your foot slips off. So aluminum is really solid in that context. Uh, the problem with the aluminum we've had over the years is that you know, gunk or junk or whatever you want to call it, it gets into the bearings and it blows them up because the bearings are smaller than regular platform pedals, you know, like regular pedals have, have bigger bearings, but because of the folding dynamic, they're smaller. And so over the years, definitely the, you know, those, those bearings have, have not done as well. Um, and that's more, it, it's more common to have pro bearing problems with the aluminum. You know, it, it turns out the resin ones actually do pretty well as far as the bearings go, but they just, they just break. <laughs> if you crash into something, it's over. You know, the, the resin is, is kind of temporary. So, you know, any solid falls or anything, the, the resin's not gonna work out long term. It's, it's gonna fall apart. So yeah, they're not as durable as the aluminum, um, but at the same time, the bearings have actually held up really well. Um, I've, I've lived in the beach most of, you know, well, let's just say, I'll, you know, a lot of the last 10 years. And it's funny that, you know, the resin ones have done better in the sand. And it's the sand that usually gets in, you know, where I am. So, okay, so that's number one. So we have folding pedals. Um, after that, you know, Hey, let me take a look at what I wrote for number two. Or, all right, let's let's not look at what I wrote for number two. So th then I'm, I'm talking about just straight platform pedals. With, you know, I call them BMX style. And they're not really BMX style, but honestly, they kind of are. So essentially, there's so many different types. I actually looked at an article recently, and they had a review of this one, and this one, and this one. At the end of the day, they're all the same. I mean, they have the same attributes. So first of all, most of them have sealed bearings. You know, the, one, the good ones have sealed bearings. So you're not gonna have any problems with gunk or junk or anything getting in the bearings. These things are gonna last, you know, I would say a lifetime, maybe, you know, let's just say a really, really, really long time, you know, so they're, they're gonna last. Um, that's number one. Um, number, so, Longevity is definitely not an issue, you know, once you have a sealed cartridge bearing, you know, with, with the pedal. Uh, number two is kind of nice for, for slip resistance. They have these pegs, little screws, you know, literally like, the, you know, you know kind of screws, pegs that extrude from the pedal that go into your shoe. <laughs> So I want to talk about this. You know, first I got this stuff and I'm like, man, this is like really nice because my foot does not slip. I mean, it just does the slip. And it turns out with most platform pedals, you know, your foot's going to slip. So I was like, man, these are great. You know what I mean? Uh, eventually, I mean, I still think they're great, but I'm not as into them today as I was when I first got them. It turns out after a year or so of riding, you're gonna mash up your legs if you wear shorts because the, those pins, those screws, whatever you call them, they go into your, your skin. <laughs> they, you know, they go into the shoes, so the, they bash up your, your shins pretty good. And I wear shorts for the most part, for the most part, you know. You know in the winter, I, I do wear 
sweatpants. So, you know, for the winter, I guess, personally, that it would be okay. Uh, for the summertime, it was, it was kind of painful to have those petals. So I, I was not so much of a fan of, of them, you know, no big deal. And the other thing that I noticed after a long time riding, I'm not, I don't think it was quite a year, but it, it, was, it was quite a while. And honestly, I wear the same shoes. I, I don't swap. Like I wear, you know, sneakers. I teach in them. I, I do everything in them, and then I throw them away, and I start with another pair. I don't switch shoes. I never switch shoes. And it turns out the bottom of my shoes got completely torn up by these pegs, screws, whatever you want to call them. And it was extremely premature wear. I mean, extremely premature. I never went through a pair of shoes that fast in my life. I'm like, oh. And the point being, you know, if you mess up the bottom of your shoe and it, it's really deformed, it, it compromises the way you walk. And it can compromise your entire body, like literally the alignment of your, of your body. So it's actually kind of a big deal. You know, so I, I was kind of confused by that. I'm like, man, these are really, really, really nice pedals. But if they're going to mess up your shoes and they're going to mess up the way you walk and everything, it's going to lead to injuries. So I'm just un indecisive on, on them for the most part. Not sure what to say or what to do. I, I really like the pedals, but if you're going to bike a lot, you might need like a lot of shoes with those kind of pedals. You know? <laughs> no big deal. And I, this is a classification for all these style pedals with these pegs or screws or anything. Instead of reviewing each one, they all generally have the same attributes. I mean, some might not have seal cartridge bearings, but you know, at the price these are at, you shouldn't get one that doesn't have seal cartridge bearings. You know, like the cheaper ones probably are not the ones to buy. You just get one that's you know maybe like ten dollars extra, and they'll literally last you know close to a lifetime. I mean, I still have the ones. I mean, I I I mashed them up, crashed them, you know, like broke them forever, and they actually look really good. They're the best condition pedals that I've had after that much wear and tear in my life. That, that says a lot. So that, that's why I say I think these are going to last a lifetime because I think they will. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I beat the daylights out of mine and they, they seem to do really well. Um, okay. And then, you know, what other pedals are there? You know, if you want to go like a little bit cheaper, you have resin pedals, just standard resin pedals. I looked online, they're like, like $9, I think, at Walmart or. You know, they're really cheap. And honestly, the bearings last on these resin pedals. I can tell you that the, the bearings are really good. Um, like the gunk, the junk that gets in the folding pedals, it's, it's actually not such a big deal with these standard resin non-folding pedals. However, you know, if you're going to drop your bike, especially because they don't fold, like the folding pedals, when you fall on your bike, you drop your bike, the, the pedals fold and then they get smooshed, you know? But these are, you know, these resin pedals are not folding. You, you know, you, you drop your bike, they're going to get smooshed instantly. You know, it's not going to be too far off. So, yeah, and they break. I mean, they, they, they really, they fail with solid probability. So, you know, the bearings are not such an issue, but failure rates under crashes is definitely an issue. And in addition, they're very likely to slip. These things are definitely slip worthy. So I, I don't know what to say about them other than they just slip. They just do. I don't. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird. Uh, so th that's a safety issue, you know. It really is. Um, and so, what other pedals out there? So I'm going to throw one in that, that maybe doesn't belong. Maybe it does belong. But MKS has really cool pedals for folding bikes. You know, they they pop on and off. It's like a plumbing. Kind of, you know, you pop them on and off. It's like it's like a hoses that just pop on and then you just release them. So it, yeah, it's it's like plumbing supply dynamic of the release. And you know, these are really expensive. They're way over hundred dollars. And you can go clipless or just platform. And I love them because it's a security device. You know, you just pop them off. No one's stealing your bike. I, mean, I guess they can steal your bike, but they're not going to ride your bike away. They're going to have to walk your bike or throw it in a truck or something like that because it's hard to ride when you don't have pedals. You know what I mean? I, I don't think the bike itself is rideable other than downhill. You know, when you pop the pedals off, 
they're high quality, really, really just nice stuff. I mean, they're the top of the food chain as far as folding bikes and, and pedals go. You know, gunk and junk shouldn't be an issue with them. I mean, everything's sealed, it's just nice. And so, yeah, definitely my, my preference, but I do think the price is kind of absurd relative to the rest of the market. And also supply chains are, you know, kind of tough with them. Not too many people sell that stuff. You know, a friend of mine you know, generally does. I don't even know if he has any in stock. So, but at the same time, I've loved them for decades. So, you know, I'm going to talk about them because they're, they're some of my favorites. So overall, I think the folding pedals are probably the way to go. And, you know, if you need traction, I would get like platform pedals, which I would refer to as BMX style because that's what they look like to me, given, you know, the dynamic where I grew up. They're not marketed that way. Resin pedals, I don't know about those. I, you know, I think they're, you know, they're cheap, you know, short term. And MKS is just a dream. So, you know, the, the ones that pop off, you know. So thank you very much for watching. Really appreciate it. Goodbye.